What's up, everyone? ODC, it's me here, back again. And uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do, uh, I've, I've been noticing a trend on my a, a lot of my reviews, and it's mostly Star Wars re related reviews. And um, I wanted to uh, help, help you guys out as, as best as possible and give you some guidance um, in case you guys are looking for a specific figure or if you're looking for a specific line, stuff like that. But I'm going to generalize here. and I'm going to try and keep this as universal as possible. This way it's, you know, I'm not giving you guys specific prices on which specific page to go look for. Because over time, and I think people forget about this, um, when I'm reviewing a figure and sometimes I say how much it's worth at that time, they get confused and they, they I've had a couple people get mad at me and they're like, well, you said it was 30 bucks and now it's 40. Yeah, but the review is like a year and a half ago. So you, I, I think I, just to clear the air, I want to make this as universal as possible and not give any prices or anything like that, but to give people um, the, the right path to take as far as what you're looking for. If you're looking for something, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of websites and stuff to go off of to check and keep and look. Um, but to, as far as... Um, as far as where to look, um, now when, when when stuff is released, now you're probably telling yourself, well, where do I look if, if something is just being released? Or I see some people have getting this stuff ahead of time. Um, some of that, if you see like posts on Facebook and stuff like that of people getting stuff early, it's because they're putting in the time and the effort to to go and check on that shit like on a consistent basis. Um, so, and sometimes people, it's just blind luck. People get lucky. They walk into a store, they're looking for a specific thing. They find it or, some, or, or an employee makes a mistake and puts it out too early. Like a lot of the black series stuff that we're seeing with um, rogue one. Um, a lot of that is blind luck. You know what I mean? Like my stores have nothing right now. They have Poe Dameron and, and you know, and, and, and the TIE fighter pilot sitting there for, since last almost last year so what i what i want to do here is not rant and rave all i want to do is talk about where you should go if you're looking for something specific and i want to start off with the black series okay so i'm going to give you guys a list of stuff that you can go check websites stuff like that now i'm an avid ebay buyer i scour ebay on my off time i go and i do my homework and and i, I call that doing my homework when it, you're searching for something um now there's a couple techniques that you can do i know a lot of people just put in star wars black series sometimes you get different searches with different things that you type in so what i always search under and works the best is star wars black series six inch and then I type in the person's name or the movie, Force Awakens, Rogue One, stuff like that. That search always has found me what I've been looking for. So right off the bat, that's probably the first technique I would tell you to use in case um, in case you were confused and, you know, I can't find anything. Why, why can't I find anything? So um, that's usually what I do for Black Series on eBay. Now, you you have to understand is that if you look once on eBay and you don't find it, don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. It's going to, eBay is a, is a, it's a, it's a strange realm. It, it fluctuates prices. You got your scalpers that you don't want to, that I don't suggest you ever pay. So like right now, I don't suggest that you pick up Jen or so. Like, let's say I'm just looking for Jen or so on, on, on eBay right now. Right now, the, the lowest she's going for to buy it now price, I'm only going off buy it now, so I'm not using auctions. She's 25 bucks now, and, and this is a pre-order, I believe. Yeah, it's a pre-order. So, I mean, as far as pre-orders go, unless it's a really good deal, I don't suggest you pre-order off eBay. I really don't. Um, I just, prices on eBay for pre-orders are just way too high. Um, there's no reason Jenner or so should be $25 for a pre-order. I'm sorry, it just doesn't exist. So what you want to do is, and you can download the Toys R Us app. You can go to Toys R Us right now. And let's say I'm looking for Jenner or so, right? I I go on Toys R Us app. Oh, she's $15.99 right now. You can also go on eBay, type in Star Wars, the Black Series, 6-inch Jenner or so. $15.99 on Amazon. 
So Amazon and Toys R Us both have her for fifteen ninety nine. Now, if you're looking for like the Death Trooper and other figures like that, I, D Toys R Us doesn't have them on their website just yet because they probably don't want to take pre-orders before The Force Awakens, but Jen Erso is probably going to be two per case, so they don't mind doing that. Um, as far as Amazon goes for the Death Trooper and uh, K2SO, um, they're going for around 30 bucks, and I don't suggest you pay that price. I suggest that uh, here's another technique, and it's a very simple technique, patience. Simple patience. Use your patience. This stuff is not going anywhere. If you don't get it on Force Friday, don't kill yourself. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. I haven't pre-ordered anything. I haven't found anything in store yet. And uh, I, I haven't um, I haven't picked up anything. The only thing I've pre-ordered is Jen Erso. That's it, because it was 16 bucks, and it's worth the price. Um, that's the only thing that I've pre-ordered. Um, I happened to find that um, that that Kmart exclusive Gen Sergeant Jen Erso with the display base at my local Kmart. Now I know that Kmart is actually denying people purchases on those because they're not supposed to be released. They weren't even supposed to be on the shelves yet. So I happened to get lucky and I got one. So um, my Kmart, they tend to not pay attention to things, but that, that's just blind luck. Like I said, it's blind luck. It's going to happen sometimes. Now, other websites that you want to go on, if you just want, you say the hell with it, I'm just going to pre-order the wave, I would suggest you go to Dorkside Toys, or I don't even think Big Boy or, or uh, Big Bad. Oh, I can't talk. Um, Big Bad Toy Store has them up yet, um, which I will check for you right now. But this is all you just got to keep doing your homework. You got to stay on top of things. Yeah, they don't even have that pre-order up yet for Wave One. So, like I said, be patient. These this Wave One is not going anywhere. Big Big Bad. Uh, keep saying yeah big bad toy store i keep wanting to say big boy collectibles and i'm mixing the two uh big bad toy store will have them dorkside toys will have them these are all websites that you can go to um that that will help you find what you're looking for um but as far as ebay buying goes like i said don't pre-order off ebay unless it's 120 dollars free shipping or 140 bucks uh, including shipping for wave one. That's about the the most I would ever spend for six figures in a wave is about 140 bucks because I understand the shipping costs and stuff like that. Um, but going over that is a little bit ludicrous. Like I'm looking at some of the waves that are available. Um, there's a guy that's got one up for $145, but it's $13 shipping. That's, that's, that's excessive. That's a little bit too high, and that's for what was that? Wave two. Someone's doing pre-orders for wave two already. Um, yeah, we got another guy on here that's selling them for one hundred and fifty-four dollars. That's just too high. Don't just don't pay those prices. It's they're six figures. You know what I mean? And two and one of them is a re-release. So um, just be patient, guys. Especially with the eBay buying. Um, don't kill yourself. Don't spend $30 on a Black Series figure as of right now when they're not even out yet. Just be patient. Pay, you'll pay the 20 bucks per figure. I promise these are not going anywhere. They will be in stores. It's going to be just like last year when everyone was looking for Captain Phasma and they couldn't find her anywhere and everyone was flipping out. I, can't, I need a Captain Phasma. Now she's Peg Worms. So, or Poe Dameron or a, a, a plethora of other Black Series figures that people were killing themselves trying to to get or overpaying for. So just be patient. They will come. Now, as far as exclusives go, and I'm only talking still Black Series right now, uh, exclusives. Now, a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions about exclusives, and I'm going to get to bootlegs after I talk about my exclusives um, because I want to clear the air about the bootlegs because I've been getting a lot of questions about those. Um, the exclusives now, there are a plethora of different exclusives when it comes to the Black Series. You have your San Diego Comic Cons. You have your you have uh, your Entertainment Earth exclusive. You have your Amazon Trooper exclusive. Um, you have a, a bunch of different exclusives that you can pick up. You also have your Toy Store exclusives, like uh, or your your big 
um, your, your Walmart exclusives, you have your Toys R Us exclusives figures. Um, now, figuring out where to go, first of all, you have to know what you're buying or what you want to buy. Uh, if I'm just looking for the Amazon exclusive, um, what was it, uh, Stormtrooper 4 pack, let's say, um, the what I like to call the evolution of the trooper, okay? Um, now, if you're looking for that, you have to know that it's an Amazon exclusive to begin with. Now, when you're looking for that, there's a lot of places that you can pick it up, but it's going to be for higher prices. The prices are, like I said, they're going to fluctuate, especially if you're going on eBay, which I don't suggest, so, blah, 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 I can't talk, which I don't suggest that you do. What I suggest that you do is just check Amazon. Amazon will have it. Right now, it's up there for $68.94 as of this moment right now. This is September 25th, 2016. Now, <laughs> like I said, I'm trying not to really uh, say, say too many prices here due to people getting mad at me for saying certain prices at certain times, which I will leave out of reviews from now on. But um, there's other exclusives like, um, what was it? Amazon right now has also the Imperial Forces um, four pack, which was, um, what was it? The, I'm trying to think. It was the Sand Trooper, the Chrisman Storm Trooper, and it was, um, I can't think of his name. Anyways, it was a TIE Fighter pilot. And it was a droid, and that was the that was the four pack. Um, they have that on Amazon right now for seventy four, seventy five, and I think on on Entertainment Earth, which is that's their exclusive. I think it's still up there for around ninety nine dollars. Uh, they might have lowered it. I'm not sure, but those are the places to check it. Those are the two places that I would check it. Now, um, and if you guys have any more questions, you can ask me in the comments in this video, and I will answer. Any more questions if I, in case I missed anything um, or if, if you're curious about if there's any anywhere else to look. Um, but uh, the majority of it is just being patient, doing your homework. Like I said, your homework, going on eBay and checking and Amazon and checking. You have to consistently check this stuff. If you, if you want it that badly, keep checking on it. Prices, like I said, prices fluctuate. Things change. Um uh, now, bootlegs. I want to discuss bootlegs because I've been getting a ton of questions on all of my bootleg comparison videos. Um, a lot of people were asking me, you know, how do I tell between the bootlegs? And, like, even though I, I'll show them in the video, they're still a little confused on, you know, oh, how do I know? What, what if it comes in this packaging? And blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you right now that if you're now, uh, first I want to address the Shadow Trooper debacle. Now, the Shadow Troopers originally came in a two-pack, and it was called the Shadow Squadron. Uh, it was called the Shadow Squadron two-pack, and it was a Target exclusive. Okay, that came with a uh, all black decoed stormtrooper, and technically, it was a sand on a sand trooper body. And then it came. It also came with a scout trooper, all decoed out in black, including his is a speeder bike um, with display base. Um, now, both of those, that's the only other, that's the only time that the Shadow Trooper was released. Um, as far as the Scout Trooper, it's been released plenty of times in different decos, but the the Shadow Trooper is basically just a black decoed uh, Sand Trooper. That's the only time it's been released, and he has black eyes, he's got all black everything. Um, but there was a bootleg, and now the bootleg I actually did a review of. So if you want to check that out, you can if you're a little confused on what's going on. Um, but uh, there are differences between the two. The paint deco on the bootleg is matte black. The eyes are silver. And the bootleg comes in a separate box. So if you're a little confused on... Because I've had someone ask me, well, I, I found a Shadow Trooper, but he comes in a single carded box. Is that the bootleg? I don't know if it is or not. Yes, that's a bootleg. Because it actually comes in a a, uh, a knockoff uh, figure arts box. 
and I actually showed that in the review. So you should check that out in case you're confused about that. Um, I'm not sure if they're still available. So, it, I mean, if you're going to, if you're asking me that, I, I don't know. Um, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'll, I'll look up Shadow Trooper right now. And we'll see if he's available. But I do know that they're under some weird searches. Um, like I found... Oh, that's someone's weird custom. Um, see, the majority that's coming up right now is most mostly the Death Trooper that's coming out next week um, at Force Friday. Um, you might have to do different searches. I know with some bootlegs... There are some different searches that you might want to use. Um, let's just try. Hmm. We'll try that and see what comes up. Uh, see, I'm not getting a whole lot. And like, like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions in that review, my bootleg review about that. And um, a lot of things have changed. I mean, they might be sold out. I don't know. If the bootleg seller is still, if they're still out there, I don't know. And like a lot of people were asking me for links to um, to the Shadow Trooper, but they have to understand that you know when I make those videos, they're like they were like six, eight months ago. The stuff might not be available right now. <laughs> um, so I mean, I can't I can't find any Shadow Troopers. So. Uh, I mean, maybe they're up there. I don't know. And they might be under a different search engine, like uh, just Shadow Trooper figure. I don't know. But you have to, you kind of have to play around with words on eBay, the search engine, um, to find what you're looking for. Now, as far as the Darth Maul bootleg, and I'm pretty sure that if I type in Darth Maul, um, a, at least one bootleg will come up. Yeah, here's one right now. There's a bootleg. I found it. Uh, now, the uh, the ways to tell it, be, it, it while it's in the box is that the, the um, well, first of all, the box has, um, where it says Star Wars, um, it's it's got black inside the, like it says right on my shirt here, it's got black inside the white outlined words. Um, in the original Star Wars Black Series original release, it had silver or gray painting. So that's that's one way to tell it apart. Um, also, the his binoculars are turned like if I was holding them like this, they're actually turned downward. Um, in the original release, the the scope part that you would look out would be turned upward. So that's just two little things to look for. I know in packaging, like right now, there's a if you look under Star Wars um, Black Series six inch Darth Maul, you'll you'll find one for. $12.88. That's a bootleg. Um, I mean, obviously no one is going to sell an original Star Wars Black Series um, Darth Maul for under $30. At least um, that I still know of. Yeah, because I'm seeing originals here going for $85. So that's around the price point for Darth Maul, an original Darth Maul. You know what I mean? Like all the other ones are bootlegs. I can tell right now. The highest price pointed uh, uh, Darth Maul bootleg right now is twenty five bucks. So, and I mean, you can get them definitely cheaper. Um, let's look up next. We will look up the Sand Trooper because I had a lot of questions about the Sand Trooper. And you know, where do I look? How do I how do I know if it's if it's a bootleg or not? Well, I I, mean, I did do I did cover the majority of it in my comparison video, but just to help people out a little bit more, I'll do the extra leg work here. Um, and don't worry, I'm gonna after I start talking, I stop talking about the Star Wars stuff, which will be ending after this. Um, I'm gonna talk about where to look for for um, like Kickstarter stuff and, and how to find that and how to, how to if you're interested in, in doing that stuff, I'm going to actually do some screen sharing here and I'll show you guys where to look. Um, but uh, right now, you type in Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Sand Trooper. Type that into eBay right now and you will see there's one for $15.99, there's one for $16.80, there's one for $16.60, there's one for $16.90, there's one for... Um, I believe this one, 
Even this one for sixteen ninety nine is a bootleg, and it looks like someone took off the red shoulder pauldron and switched it with a white one from the exclusive four pack. So these are things to look out for. I'm going to tell you right now, if you scroll, um, like let's say, you know what, I'll just, um, I will, I'll screen share right here just to make it easier on everyone. It'll just be a lot easier to do this. So bear with me here. Hold on a second, guys and girls. Everyone can see what I'm showing you guys right now. Should be able to. Okay. Um, let's go with... Oops, I put Star War. There we go. And then we'll go... We'll always go lowest price with shipping first. Um, and I always go straight up buy it now just to get an idea of what the lowest, um, like if I want to get one right now. Here's one for $16.80. This is a bootleg. Here's another one for $16.80. This is a bootleg. You want to know how I know this? You click on the auction. Scroll down. Where's it coming from? It's coming from Hong Kong. Everything coming from Hong Kong is going to be a bootleg. Look at the estimated shipping date. Wednesday, October 5th through October 20th. When you have these long, drawn-out, estimated shipping dates, it's a bootleg. Just telling you right now. When someone has an original, it's either going to be someone with a personal collection, um, because the majority of 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 e-tailers don't have them anymore and if they do they're probably selling them for 30 or 40 bucks that's what a sand trooper goes for now especially one with a red uh red pauldron um like this one right here these are going to be bootlegs you can tell i could tell just by the paint deco on the helmet that that's a bootleg right there um and like i said he's got 10 available five were sold uh, now uh, yet again it's coming from hong kong it's going to be a bootleg. There's your estimated shipping dates again, right there. These are all bootlegs. These are just stuff to look for. Um, this is going to be a bootleg again. Hong Kong, estimated shipping dates. He's got a bunch. He's got 24 that sold. He's got five available. These are all bootlegs. Now, getting into this. This is a bootleg. This is not an original. It's from Japan. Estimated shipping dates. I know it looks like it is because they put up mock-up pictures. But when you get them, this is a bootleg. I'm telling you right now. Even if it says Hasbro right there. I know this is confusing to a lot of people. I know it can be a real pain in the ass um, to try and figure this stuff out. Now, this guy right here, let's check and see. See, this is not a bootleg. You can tell. A, I can tell because of the paint deco. Um, the helmet is, is, uh, whiter where bootlegs have a very yellowish, uh, hue to them. Um, but, uh, this is an original and it's going for $30. This is what the sand troopers go for now. If they go for 30 bucks. Now you have to tell yourself, do you want to spend $30 for an original? This is an original from the three, the, uh, the, the entertainment earth four pack exclusive. Um, they go for 30 bucks. That's what they go for. It's from Florida. Uh, pretty much anything that says Hong Kong on it is going to be a bootleg right off the bat. This is an original right here. I could tell just by, for A, the photo. But the seller's also telling you it says authentic here. But de definitely d a double check because, I mean, this, uh, it does say Puerto Rico right here. But um, this is a around the price that this sand trooper goes for. Don't hesitate to ever ask a question. You can always go over here, click on this guy's link, and just hit contact and ask him, is this really inauthentic or are you just saying that? Um, and they'll be honest. They'll tell you. Uh, this one's straight out of the four-pack from the Entertainment Earth exclusive. Um, 
you might actually save some money and just buy the whole four pack as far as that's concerned. I think it's going for around 70 bucks on Amazon right now. So, um, oops, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, here, let me just bring up Darth Maul just to show you guys the differences in packaging because I have had a lot of questions about that. Um, here we go. Here's the one I was talking about for $12.88. This is a bootleg. Look where it's coming from. China. 10 available, 15 sold. There's the black um, writing inside the lettering that I was talking about. There's the upside down uh, binoculars. And you'll also notice, notice a little bit of a, uh, a darker red on this paint deco once you get them in hand from the original. Now, here's an original. This is an original. You see the gray paint right here? This is an original. This, these are things that what to look for. See, the binoculars are they're right side up. So these are things to look for in just the packaging. Or, or uh, the prices are low be, for a reason. That's there's a reason why. Um, also, this Darth Maul has Y jointed hips as opposed to T jointed hips that the original had. Um. What's another one I can look up that I was talking about? Uh, oh, Darth Vader. I, someone was asking me about Darth Vader having a, a bootleg. And uh, I have heard of some people getting bootlegs, but this Darth Vader has dropped in price significantly. Um, now, there are two versions of this Darth Vader, this original box Darth Vader. Now, if it, like I said, if it's coming from China, it's going to be a knockoff. I'm telling you right now, you guys got to look where the item location is. Come from China, it's going to be a bootleg. I'm telling you right now. Um, like this, this guy right here. This is the other version. Now, this is the Emperor's Wrath. This was a Walgreens exclusive. Um, he's going for around seventeen. Uh, about right. That's about the right price, I would say, and. It's coming from the United States. You know this is not a bootleg, and you'll know that this isn't a bootleg by the different colored helmet, the translucent pl plastic helmet, uh, the box and everything, and I don't think there's any bootlegs of the Emperor's Wrath Darth Vader. Um, let's take a look at this auction right here. This is coming from Harrison, Ohio. This is probably going to be original. Um, he goes for around 20, anywhere from 20 to 25, maybe 30 bucks. But I know he has dropped in price as of recently. And I think, I, I, I'm not sure if Big, uh, Big Bad Toy Store has them back in stock. I do know that there were pre-orders up for Vader. Yep, there he is right there. So they have Darth Vader. If, if, if you get worried about eBay and you're still looking for a Vader, just go on uh, Big Bad Toy Store and pick one up for 23 bucks. I think that's that's a decent price for a really good figure. I think he's a really good figure. Um, so they do have some stuff. I knew that they had him up there. So if you don't want to pay this, uh, you might actually save some money picking this up. To be honest with you, as opposed to paying, you know, twenty three dollars from big big bad toy store and then having to pay what five seven dollars for shipping. So you're almost paying thirty bucks, or you could pay twenty three right here. And you'll have it by October 1st with free shipping. So there you go. Um, but these are, the, I just want to make this video really quick just to show everyone as best as possible. Um, just to show viewers, and I hope everyone can see, could see what I was doing there. I hope I wasn't just talking in, in a dark screen. My dog is flipping out. <laughs> you all right, bud? <laughs> But um, now I want to talk some Kickstarter, uh, and I'm going to go back to my screen sharing here. Hopefully, this is what we can – oh, wait. What, what is this? No, no. I don't want to do that. Oh, technical difficulties. Hold on a second. There we go. And we will go over to here. Now, hopefully, you guys could see – what I was doing. Like, here's the, the big bad toy store, um, Vader. 
Here is this. Let me see if you guys can. Um, here's the um, the Vader on eBay. If you want to pick that up, and it's not a bootleg. Uh, but like I said, anything coming from China, it's going to be a freaking bootleg. Now, let's go to Kickstarter. Yes, no. Kickstarter. We'll just go to Kickstarter, main page, and all you have to do is type in Mythic Legions. If you're looking for Mythic Legions, go to kickstarter.com, type in Mythic Legions, click on this. And here's the Kickstarter. Now, if you also, like, like if we're looking for updates, they have the campaign, they have the updates, they have comments.
Okay. What's up, everyone? I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my screen just went kaputi. So I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but as I was trying to show everyone, let me get my screens back up here. I don't know what the hell happened there. I had to like reboot the, my whole computer. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, if it does happen to happen again, I will just, uh, I'll continue. I'll make this a two-parter tomorrow. So uh, we'll finish this off tomorrow. But um, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully I can get all my screens back up here. And we will go through this together. We're going to do it together. I promise. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can just let me know in in this video, and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. So, just so you all know that. Um, let me just get up. My, here we go. Skibbity bop. Sorry about that. I'm all disheveled because of um, There we go. It's up. If you guys want to enter into the chat, go ahead. And we're going to, hopefully you guys can see everything um, on here. But, um, Oh, what was I doing? I'll come back to that, actually. Let's go to Kickstarter. Back to kickstarter.com. All right, like I said, I just typed in uh, Mythic Legions. Go here, click on that. Now, there also is, like I was saying before, I got so rudely interrupted by the internet crashing. Um <laughs> <laughs> they do have updates on here, so if you are you are um, considering looking into Mythic Legions, you can check out them here, or you can go to Mythic. Oops, what am I doing? Come. Oh, what what's wrong with me right now? There we go. Sorry about that. Finger fart. Go to mythiclegions.com and check them out here as well. They even have character bios. So if you guys are interested in learning about each character, you can pull up any character, like let's just pull up Atlas, my favorite character. And you can read a nice little bio about him if you want to, um, if you're interested. But there are a bunch, a plethora of different characters on here, and I think they're going to add more uh, in the coming months. So there's that. There's also a forum you can go to if you want to join the forum and to have uh, discussions. I think people do some trading on here, stuff like that, uh, buying, selling. But if you wanted to go that route, you could. Let's just get rid of that. And then uh, what else? Oh, there's also store... Horseman.com you can go to and this is their official um, their website for you know selling everything whether it's Gothtropolis or stuff like that now they are they're gonna have much on here for sale right now um, but like I said in my video in my unboxing video with Rob they will um, I think this, I think October, or I think, they, I think they said the latest November, they're going to do a, uh, they're going to restock everything and they're going to do more pre-orders for stuff. Um, now I don't know specifically what I think they're going to pretty much do all the all stars. Now, when I say all stars, I mean, all of these gentlemen right here which is pretty much all the characters I showed you on this page, which is, you know, Vitus or Vetus. Um, they have, uh, was it Otho right here? They have 
Attila right here, Atlas, um, um, Sir Gideon's Heavens brand, which is a really nice figure. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on one of those, but I would like to. Uh, but these are all the all-stars is what I'm talking about here. All of these, uh, all of these guys I actually just snatched uh, this M Mr. Malice right here. Looks pretty awesome. He actually does have an articulated jaw. So if you guys have any questions about um, Mythic Legions or anything like that, like I said, any questions at all, leave it in this video, and I will answer them as fast as possible. Um, but uh, a lot of these are just beautiful action figures, and you should definitely check them out. Now, let's go to, uh, I think it's Dime Novel Legends. See if they're up yet. They might not be up yet. Um, uh, chicken. Yeah, they're actually not up yet. Um, but we'll just do a search. They're called Dime Novel Legends. And they will be up. The Kickstarter is actually starting October 1st. So after next week, after this week, um, these guys are three and three quarter inch cowboy action figures. Um, they will be on Kickstarter only. So if you guys are wanting to look into something a little bit different, um, you know, if you're looking for a Wild West setup, something like that, these are all um, G.I. Joe scale. They're three and three quarter inch. So um, I can't wait to get I can't wait to get a bunch of these. I'm gonna I'm totally gonna back this uh, this Kickstarter. Um, here we have some uh, some face sculpt stuff like that. You've just uh, seen that. Um, a bunch of different characters you can create your own cowboy if you want to. This is gonna be very similar to Marauders. Now, if you're not familiar with Marauders, let's just go to Marauders Inc. Oops, I didn't spell Marauders right. Marauders. That should be correct. There we go, Marauders Gunrunners. And uh, it's pretty similar to this, so pretty much um, you're, you got your Dime Novel Legends, which are, which are going to be the Marauders, or the cowboy version of Marauders, is basically. This is like the better version of G.I. Joe's right here, the uh, Marauders Gunrunners, if you are not uh, familiar with them. Um, you can pretty much create your own G.I. Joe character that you want. Um, you can army build these suckers if you want. You can do whatever you want with them. You can create a, uh, an, a modernized look for Cobra uh, if you were on to use these guys or these red guys here or even these blue guys here. You could use a modern take on Cobra if you wanted to or use them for um, you know maybe a higher-end shock trooper for Cobra. Um you have a, a plethora of different options. There's actually more body options than what you just see right here. This is just a generalized uh, look at uh, what they offer. They uh, And everything is modular. You can take all of these pouches and everything off, off the sides of the arms. This armor you can take off and put on. The helmets you can take off and put on. You can add stuff to the helmets like little scopes, night vision scopes, stuff like that. You, they do offer different heads and everything. Everything is on this site. So if you go to MarauderInc.com, you'll be able to check that out. And I'm assuming if this does well, it'll eventually have its own website like Marauders does because Marauders started as a Kickstarter as well. Um, now, also what I wanted to note about Marauders is that they are going to be releasing within, I think, October or November will be the Valkyries are coming out, which is all of the women like this so within that within the next month or so those will be dropping and um but here we have some more um cowboys here just to show you guys uh um everyone that's going to be released or at least the 
a couple of them. Let's see if we can see um, the rest here. I did actually post this on my Facebook page, so if you guys want to check that out, you can as well. Um, but here's the teardown design, um, some prototype picks. So if you want to go to uh, the one that I actually posted on my Facebook page, is probably better. They show every single figure that's going to be available. And you can also create your own cowboy, which is just freaking amazing. I mean, I love the I love this I love the movie Tombstone. I'm going to get all of these guys and uh, create my own uh, wild western scene. I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. Um, What's another one? Hacks are another one. Boss Fight Studios has been doing fantastic things. Um, if you are into uh, like Mythic Legions, if you're not into the six inch style, you want three and three quarter inch style like Mythic Legions, this is the, the trend that Boss Fight Studios is going. Um, let's just see Boss Fight Studio store, and we'll just show some store stuff. Uh, we'll go with they have the uh, the total hacks right here. Um, oh wait, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go to there. We go. Now these are all different types of. Now these are mostly like a uh, a Roman soldier right here. These are a tear down of a Roman soldier. Um, let me just show you some paint apt. Ones now, these look absolutely beautiful, and I, I mean, I actually just picked up one. Um, I would like to pick up a um, the Athenian warrior um, because I, I love just the look of this. I love the armor. I love the shield. Um, it just looks absolutely fantastic. I, I just, I just friggin' love it, and um, love the uh, the Roman look. I'm pretty sure that um, yeah, he does come with two different helmets. He comes with a plethora of different stuff. He even comes with a nice little um, display stand, which is pretty cool. And I know a uh, three and three quarter inch figure for for twenty two bucks is asking a bit much, but um, this was also a Kickstarter, so you have to understand that um, it's going to be a, a little bit more, but um, uh, not too much more than. Uh, about ten dollars more than a regular retail GI Joe figure. Um, this is actually the one I picked up. Um, oh no, it's not. I picked up the. I picked up this lovely, scary lady. Where is she? This. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, I think this is the one, the boa one. Um, but she or Gor Gorgon. This is the one I picked up. So I'm pretty excited about it. And there actually is a Medusa version too. Look at that. That is just so cool. She comes with a like a looks like a a whip with like bones and oh, oh man, that is just it looks like a snake, pretty much a snake whip. And she's got the head of the snake right here and she's got like a, a snake uh dagger right here, interchangeable hands. She comes with a display base and an articulated tail. So if you're if you're a GI Joe fan and you're looking for um you know, maybe a female version of of Galobulus, maybe Galobulus's daughter. You could go this route, um, and they do have different types of heads, uh, as you can see here, right there. It's like a snake-like head with a friggin' with a friggin' like it could be there, like her crown or whatever. I mean, there's just so many different ways that you could go with this, but uh, the, the the that's like a actual helmet or. A, a crown or whatever you want to call it, um, but sh they all come with different stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, this is just a, a different uh, route to go. I mean, if, if if this is your cup of tea, I would suggest you go with it. They also have female um, warriors as well, which is pretty awesome. There's a closer look. The paint apps are really good on these too. I really do like these these hacks. And they're all interchangeable parts, so if you want to swap swap them, this is the guy I might actually get, the, the Spartan Warrior. He just looks so dope. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Looks absolutely beautiful. And he comes with all this extra stuff. Um, they're just, they look so fantastic. I love them. Um, they're also available, I'm pretty sure they're available on redtoystore.com. You can pick them up. 
there we go. Boom. You can pick them up. You can pre-order them. Some of them, some of them are going to be pre-ordered, um, and some of them will be available. They actually have this lava um, gentleman right here. He's like all like a, a lava. Like you could actually make him um, a uh, a Hades warrior if you wanted. Like he's the underworld warrior, which is perfect. That's it's essentially what he is. So um, it's just a pretty much a redecoed painted uh, uh, warrior. But I think it works. I mean. It, it's it's a lot of fun. It, it's a good time to be a collector and have all of these different types of options. Uh, you know, if your if your uh, mainstream figures aren't doing it for you right now. But um, uh, this looks fantastic. Look at this. He's got like a scar on his eye right here. Um, he's got like a, a smiling face on his helmet. It just looks really cool. He's got like a stone. He's Stone Fist. That's his name, Stone Fist. Looks like he made a, a deal with the devil, so to speak. But um, yeah, these are all on Big Bad Toy Store. If you're interested in that as well, um, I'm not sure what other websites they would be on, but uh, I'm sure you could use your search engine and uh, you can find them. But there's a plethora of hacks on Big Bad Toy Store, so. These are just some things I wanted to point out to some people, uh, just because these are a lot of a lot of this, a lot of these figure lines aren't aren't well known, of because of, you know, they can't get their voice out there. So I feel like it would be a good idea for me to voice for them, so we can continue to get great figures like uh, the Spartan Warrior here. Um, and I'm pretty sure if you go on their website, he is available. If I think if you go on, yeah. He is available on here. If you go on uh, Big Big Bad Toy Store, the Spartan Warrior is not available. So if you're looking at for that specific uh, hack, he's not available right now. But um, as far as the Cowboys go, if you want to get your pre-orders in, if you want to get every figure available, and I'm pretty sure they might have a package deal. Like if you spend a hundred bucks, you probably get the whole wave. I'm not saying that's exactly what 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 their price is going to be, but I'm just generalizing. I'm, I'm guesstimating um, that might be their price. So, all right, I'm going to go back off my screen sharing here. And uh, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> I was actually in the middle of watching the, the Bills play, and uh, I think we were winning 23-7 to 7 at the time. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I started getting a, a – I think I got like three or four messages in a row – asking me about a bunch of Star Wars stuff. So I wanted to tackle that subject and talk about some Kickstarter stuff. Uh, and like I said, if you guys have any questions about any of the Kickstarter stuff or just uh, an action figure um, discussion in general uh, about um, like a certain specific figure, uh, just let me know. And uh, what I might do is, uh, if you guys have any questions, maybe I'll just do like a Q&A once a week and just answer a plethora of questions if I keep getting the majority or uh, a lot that I've been getting about specifics uh, when it comes to prices or looking for something. Um, but if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I don't have uh, the the slightest in me to, or I shouldn't say that. I, sh I, <laughs> I don't have a problem answering any questions is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, I hope this helped. I, hopefully, my screen sharing worked properly so you guys could see everything. Um, I wish there was a way for me to just check the comments in here, but I can't. There is a chat, but that's only for the group chat for people that are a part of the... Um, stinks. Can't check it. But, uh, yeah, I hope this helped. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and uh, maybe we'll do like a Q and a once a week, maybe we'll do something like that. This way I'm, I can help you guys out as best as possible. If you guys are confused about something, but, um, like I said, do your homework. Um, also if you are a mythic legions collector and I'm going to sh screen share this one more time. I will screen share this one more time here. Um, what am I doing? I want to go to, I want to close that and we'll close that and then we will 
go on the evil bay. Um, I would suggest to you, if you guys are looking, if you are Mythic Legions collectors, or if you are just spawn collectors in general, um, I would suggest that um, you go after this line. Oops. This line is absolutely fantastic. It's one, I think it's one of my favorite uh, lines from the old uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, oops. Just get that out of there. Get this out of here. Um, these figures are absolutely fantastic. Um, some have really good articulation. Um, some are kind of statuesque, like this this lady right here. Um, but uh, they are really, really cool figures. Um, and if you are a Mythic Legions collector, I would suggest you look into stuff like this Centurion right here. Um, he could definitely go with uh, your Mythic Legions. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on that, talking about that and reviewing those figures when I get them. Um, but you have some really cool monsters from this line that you could pair up with your Mythic Legions if you wanted to. Um, you have a plethora of different options as far as, because we haven't been given as far as myth, Mythic Legions go, goes, excuse me, we haven't been given any like Samurai Warriors or anything like that. So maybe these guys can stack up pretty well. Um, this is probably one of the best figures I would say in the line um, is this guy right here, the, um, the Samurai Spawn. From and this is actually from the line Samurai Wars. So um, I know it's confusing. I typed in Dark Ages and this came up, but that's that's what happens on eBay. Weird stuff comes up under different. Uh, but look at these! Look at these sculpts on these monsters. They're they're crazy looking. Look at that! Look at that head sculpt. <laughs> it's like some sort of weird three headed. Uh, look at the other head coming out of his stomach. <laughs> look at all the look at all that detail on his. Uh, on the on the on the right here, on that uh, pike that he's got there, a spear. Um, it just looks really cool, and these are just a really good option for anyone that's got wants to get into like a uh, a monsters. I think they have a three headed dragon from the Dark Ages line, or from the actually it's from the the um, the Samurai Wars line, but it's pretty awesome. I actually just uh, just picked it up, but. Um, but there's a plethora of options here. Like we have the Viper King right here, and th that's all. Those are all real chains right there, um, metal chain links right there, connected to all those uh, those uh, snake heads right there. Um, now some of these might be limited in articulation, but if you have if you're doing setups and stuff like that, I think it can work really well. So, but I just wanted to show you that really quick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hopefully everything showed up w with my screen sharing and everything. And uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, any questions, ask me, and uh, I'll do my best to to answer them for you. Um, maybe next week if I get uh, if I get ten or more questions, I'll I'll probably answer them next week in a Q and A video. This way, it's a lot easier. You guys can stay tuned and. Uh, we can help each other out. How's that? Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a happy Sunday. Enjoy it. Have a good week at work, everyone. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.